How are you? Hey, Julie. Long time, Rosie. It is, yes. How are um, you? I'm good. I'm good, thank you. I would like to go on a half day taking trip. Uh -huh. So, can you tell me what days you have that trip available? On the Tuesday, the Thursday, and the Friday. Perfect. Whatever suits you best. I would like to go on the Friday, please. Uh huh. Okay, what? We pick you up midday, mm -hmm. 12, 12, 30. Like from my same, hotel? From your hotel. Perfect. Uh, then you go to group like 30 people. You mm -hmm. go up to the Mount Tater. Okay, and what is the route to get up to Mount Tater? Which you way do we go? Via the Oratava Valley. Via the Oratava Valley. You make Valley. stops on the, on the way up there. Okay, do you know where the stops are along the way? Do you know what we see? You, you go first to the Rose of Stone. Ah, oh, I've heard about that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's yeah. very nice frequent point where you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to the same. forest. Uh huh. And then you go to the Moon Landscape. Yeah. Where they make many movies, uh, Clash of the Titans, Wrath of the Titans, Doctor Who. Perfect, okay, so you see quite a few different landscapes there. So yes. we go up through, the mount, uh, up through the pine forests, Yes. above the cloud? If it's you cloud come above know. the clouds. If you're lucky, you go even in the clouds, so you can walk with your feet to the clouds, ah, if you're lucky. I like the balancing nice. on the cloud, yes. yeah, okay. So then you get up into Tady, and then you say, like, the, moon, the, the landscape's completely different, dry. And yeah, you come, you come on the moon. On the moon, it's like... Half moon, moon half... Up uh, for cable landscape. Okay, perfect. And is there an opportunity to go on the cable car? Yes, you go to the cable car if you want. It's not obliged. You can. Like some people say, oh, I can't. I have heart problems, or I'm like uh, two years old. Yeah, yeah. If you want, you go up. Uh, you go up to three and a half thousand. And when you're on three and a half thousand meters, you have the chance to walk 50 minutes to Peak of Jacob, the old crater, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and 50 minutes back. 50 minutes to the other side to the Fortaleza viewpoint, and 50 minutes back. Okay, and the cable car is included in the price of the ticket, or that's something separate? It's a separate thing, because some people take with cable cars, some without. Okay. The cable car costs 40 extra okay. for the return, so 20 up, 20 down. Mm -hmm. okay. And you decide yourself if you want that or not. Okay, and like you say, there are some restrictions, so if you have a bad heart or you're a, a small bad baby. Bad heart, don't do it, people with, with, with lung problems, because it's very thin air. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, babies, yeah. pregnancies, even already a bit on the border. Well, that doesn't apply to me, that bit. Um, and what happens if I get the cable car, I pay for the cable car ticket and it's not working that day? You get your money back. Get your money back. Um, one out of five days, we have two strong winds up there. It yeah. can be completely without wind in the town. Mm -hmm. But a storm, you get your money back. Because yeah. the wind decides, you just walk the cable too, car. Too dangerous the for the car to go because it will be swinging back. So, after the cable car, what, what would happen next? After the cable car, you go, or before, after the cable car, depending on the time stop, the cable car tickets. You go to the fingers of God. Uh -huh. Three enormous fingers sticking out of the mountain. Mm -hmm. I can even show you how they look. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but on the, on the former banknotes of the Taos Pesetas, ah, yes, there the are three enormous they. fingers. Yeah. So the, these here? Yes. So you go and visit those? So you go visit them. Okay. Perfect. Then you go to the Clint East Wood Zone. The Clint East was made in the 70s. He made four spaghetti westerns. He made many in Italy. We made four in Tenerife. We are very proud of them. No, I didn't but know in that. In the 70s, yeah, before we all were born. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know that, so... Um, and, yeah. af and after that Clint Eastwood song, you go to a restaurant, or before, depending on the time slot, mm -hmm. have some lunch up there in the mountains. You can choose if you want to eat in the restaurant, or you bring your own, or you go do go to the souvenir shop, or some people say, I've already half what, I don't feel like eating lunch. Mm -hmm. So that's not including the price, the food, no. and the food is separate? We leave the people free, they can decide, or they go for lunch in the restaurant, okay. or they go walk around, or they go to a souvenir shop. Or they can use the bathrooms as well, presumably. Bathrooms as well. Bathroom stop, which is really important. You have several so, options for the bathroom. <laughs> so it's quite important then to understand that the, the trip may vary a little bit depending on the weather, yes. whether there's cloud, the it viewpoints may the change. Weather, but it change. depends on the times of the cable car. Because sometimes we get cable car tickets for 12 o'clock, sometimes for 1 o'clock, okay. sometimes for 2 o'clock. Okay. So depending on that, how could many change sequences. The, could change the route that you take and what you might actually You go to all the same points, but it depends mm. a bit on the sequence, how we do it. Okay, perfect. And then you come back down the same way through the Dower Java Valley. Yes. And Dropped off back at the hotel? Yes, around like six hours later you're back in your hotel. Okay, I have one other question. Um, there's obviously a guide on the bus. And those guides, they speak both English, or you have a German bus, or an English bus, or Spanish bus, or two languages on the bus. And they always speak your language. There's always four languages available. Okay, so you could either just be on a bus full of just English people, or you could have an English bus with German people on yes. it. So you have two it languages. Could be two languages as well. Okay, so it's maximum two languages though. Officially it is, but only when it's really quiet, yeah, then there you can just retreat. Well. That's fine, okay, that's perfect. It sounds like a really good day out, so it's, it's nice. how, much notice, how much notice do you need to be able to put that? Because of the cable day, cars? Day and a half, day and a half in advance. Okay, so we need to make sure that we give you some notice. Right? Because of the cable car tickets, the bus, we can easily make bigger or get mm -hmm. more buses, but the cable car tickets are very often sold out, 
So give it at least a day and a half, two to days in advance. Avoid being disappointed. Perfect. Okay. And if you didn't fancy the half day um, excursion, there yeah. is a full day. Yeah. Yeah. Full day, and okay. then you have a bit more time to visit Orotava, to visit uh, the Casas Balcones. You have some more time, and you go back a different route. Okay. You go back over the Esperanza Forest. Okay. Actually, very, very nice thing to do. Okay, we can talk about that in more detail another day. I'm just really today. I'm just interested in the half day. So thank you very much. I would like to get my ticket, please. Taking a drive today up to Mount Haiti. We booked a, an afternoon trip to come up to the mountain. We're making our way first of all up through the Orotava Valley. You can see here how lush and green the Orotava Valley is. Suitable for growing wine grapes. Lots of wine production going on here in the valley. The red fertile soil makes it um, a great choice along with the climate. As we climb higher, you can look down onto Puerto de la Cruz. You can see there, just on that mountain, on that little hill, that's the little monastery. So if any of you ever go to the restaurant El Monasterio and you walk up the hill, that's the little monastery that you can climb to. We have a fabulous view down to Puerto de la Cruz, but we are going to be climbing up higher through the valley of La Orotava. And as we climb up, the climate is going to change and also so is the vegetation that we're going to see. So just to tell you a little bit about the valley of Orotava, um, known by the Guanches, who were the original inhabitants of the, of the island, they called it the Tauro Valley, so called up until the Spanish conquest, the conquest, conquest in, in 1496. There are three major towns within the valley, La Orotava obviously, Los Realejos and Puerto de la Cruz. The valley covers some 10 by 11 kilometres and it was formed after a landslide some 560,000 years ago. Now, as I said, the landscape is going to change, and here we are now. This would originally have been pine forest, but uh, recently we've had some dreadful fires, and it's taken um, its toll, as you can see, lots of blackened, burnt-out trees. Nature, of course, though, is an absolute wonderful thing. It's uh, It does tend to rejuvenate itself, and you can see in places some signs some telltale signs of this happening. Like I said, we are gonna see some change in, in climate. So we um, can see the clouds there, Tady there on the left-hand side, and some pine forests that obviously weren't affected by the fire, looking absolutely magnificent. This is our first stop. Photo opportunity here, if it wasn't so cloudy, you'd be able to see La Palma and to the west hand side, you'd be able to see Mount Tady. <laughs> there's me enjoying my trip. So particularly stop here because there's a well-known rock formation called Piedra de la Rosa or the Rose Stone. And to make our way to the Rose Stone, we do climb down a, a, a footpath um, just to be warned and advised it is a little bit un uneven it is a little bit rocky so if you are taking this excursion i would recommend that you get some sensible shoes on don't go in your flip-flops making our way under the through this tunnel this has taken us under the road that we've traveled up ourselves on the bus but it's a safer way of doing it to avoid the traffic and like i say a little bit of an uneven path no handrails either so do be careful but it is worth taking the walk and the slight climb, it's only a small incline, slight climb, so that you can take a, a great view of the Rose Stone or La Piedra de la Rosa. And when you get to see it, you'll realise why it is called the Rose Stone, because the rock formation does look like petals from a rose flower. Amazing what nature can achieve, isn't it? That's a lava explosion which dried and settled into the shape of a, a flower, a rose. So take, there's some time there to, to, to take some photos. That's our coach there. And this is the road that we have come up to so far to reach the rose, the rose stone. And we continue on up this road. It is a little bit windy. We continue on up this road to make our way into the National Park of Tady. Now 
Like I say, there's the cloud. So I think Puerto de la Cruz is underneath the cloud. So we can't see it today uh, now that we've got this high. <laughs> and there is also a magnificent view of Mount Tady. Known by the locals as El Padre, common mistake that tourists make, they tend to refer to the mountain as a she. Doesn't she look lovely when she's covered in snow? But it isn't a she, it's a he, it's El Padre. The father. Now, as I said, we were going to see some changing landscapes. We've come up through the fertile green Orotava Valley, and now the landscape has dramatically changed. You can see it's a lot drier, uh, a lot rockier. Still some sturdy fauna and flora that is still managing to grow in this part. The once is referred to Tady as a, a place of worship and believed it was the gateway to hell. <laughs> We're going to be making our way round the path, the, the roadway here to the restaurant. Now this is where the coach will stop and you can get off, you can use the restrooms and uh, either just stop for a drink or do like we did and have something to eat. Nice large terraces here. I have to say the service was very good, very efficient. There is some shade to sit in as well if you don't want to sit in the sun. Quite a good variety of food on offer. Pizza, uh, we had tapas but they do pizza. And if you go inside the bar, you can see the um, array of local produce that's for sale, local biscuits, local wine. Like I say, we had tapas, so there's our papa, papas arugadas, our wrinkled potatoes with the local sauces, the mojo verde and the mojo, uh, the mojo pijante. These are the croquetas with the alioli, garlicky sauce, and Spanish omelette, tortilla, with a bit of salad. So after we'd had something to eat and a drink, we would we made our way uh, back to the bus, back to the coach, and further on into the National Park. Now, if you look really closely at Tady here, you can see on the left-hand side the supports for the cable car. Just now, where we are now, this is called La Caldera. Caldera. Um, Tady is a volcano within a volcano. Millions of years ago, a, a volcano exploded and left behind this 16 kilometer wide crater. And on its northern edge, it left behind a smaller volcano. Uh, Mount Tady. You can see the whole of this area is a weird volcanic landscape um, filled with lava rocks, lava streams and ash beds. The crater is edged by a craggy rim and this is like I say known as La Caldera. This landscape um, you may recognise from some films. It's been used in uh, a couple of different films. Um, two of the rather well-known ones of the 1966 One Billion Years BC and more recently Rambo Last Blood was filmed, parts of it was filmed up here in the Tady Mountain, that was in 2018. Recognised as a World Heritage Site as well in 2007. Recommendations there on how to behave within the National Park Plenty of water, decent shoes, wear a sun hat, that sort of thing. And there are some nature trails as well and some walks within the National Park. But my recommendation really would be that you wouldn't venture out on your own to do those. You're, you're far better off going on a guided walk. So this is Llano de Yucanca. <laughs> Great place to stop and take a, a photo of Teddy. There's me enjoying myself. <laughs> Now we've parked up at the El Parador. There's a hotel here, the El Parador Hotel, and a little chapel. You can stay in the El Parador overnight. Um, I would recommend that you make some make a book in though. Um, I think just to walk in would be very, very lucky. And I think at certain times of the year it may well be closed if, the, if it's too um, snowy. So now we're at the Rockies de Garcia. Some of you will recognize there on the left-hand side, you'll recognize that rock formation. You'll recognise it from the old 1,000 peseta note uh, before the Euros took over. That is the Rocky Chinchada. But also here as well, you've got a couple of other rocks known as the Cathedral and the Waterfall. 
You can take a walk up those steps. Again, like I said before, sturdy footwear is recommended. But you can walk up there. Or you can just stand here and enjoy the view. Now, interesting to see there how the lava flow has stopped um, and the two landscapes uh, vary, the black lava um, and the dry arid sand. So, three different rock formations there. You've got the... Uh, this is a Tahinasti plant. Like I say, three different rock formations there. You've got the cathedral, the waterfall, and the rocky chinchada, uh, well known for appearing on the Thousand Peseta note all them years ago. Fabulous photo stop opportunity. Really does sort of put into context how vast the National Park is. The El Parador in the background there. Little shop as well, um, a cafeteria here at El Parador if you want to stop for another drink or you want to make some purchases. We've seen a variety of flora and fauna up on the mountain this afternoon. We saw the Tahanasti plant earlier on. This beautiful colour plant, this purple plant here, this is called the Erisimum scorpalium. Not entirely sure I've said that correctly. This monument here is in tribute to a scientist, Senor Bravo, who was born in Puerto de la Cruz. He was also a geologist as well. As you can see, you can get the tits of our service up to the mountain. Do be careful though that you don't miss the last bus home, otherwise you could well end up stuck up there for the night. We make our journey back down through the wonderful um, landscape, the rocky landscape um, of the mountain, that fabulous lunar type uh, rocks that you can see. We descend back down into the Laurel Tower Valley following the path home the way that we came.